Okay, so I wanted to upload this before 2023 ended, but then some things happened. The most important of them being that I got dengue fever, which was not fun at all. But anyways, it was interesting how this video or the idea for this video evolved with time. I was thinking of making a video talking about my language learning journey, progress and experiences during 2023 and also my goals for the year 2024. And I guess being so sick for so many days and just like having so much time to think about life in general kind of transformed this video into something else and made me think about the role language learning has in my life. So I would like to start by talking a little bit about why I'm learning German and how I started learning German. I initially did an A1 course in 2022 because I wanted to do something new. So I took this class, which was a, an online class, but where I had to focus on all aspects of learning German. I don't know, it was interesting to just face a language I knew virtually nothing about and also being in a class with other people and having to speak and participate in exercises. But then I never finished that course, I never sat for the exam again because I was going through personal stuff and all through the end of 2022 and the beginning of 2023, I was at my lowest regarding my mental health. And I think that kind of prompted a focus on learning German in a more serious or structured way. I think I started learning German to distract myself from some painful things in my life. And I'm glad I did because learning German is a hobby that has stuck with me and that I know will be with me probably for the rest of my life. And so it was at the beginning of 2023 where I actually started consistently practicing my German comprehension. That's where I discovered Anki. And I spent a lot of time watching YouTube videos of other people who learned languages by themselves. Yeah, I started focusing on concepts like immersion through comprehensible input and mostly focused on developing comprehension skills. And that's something that still goes on to this moment. I really have been focusing only on listening and reading for my study of German. I started the year by using Busu a lot. I think it's a great app for grasping the basics of a language. I think it does what Duolingo tries to do, but way better. And I also think that like Duolingo, it's not something that you can rely on as the only thing that will get you to mastery of a language, but it's a great way to practice all aspects of learning your target language while also interacting with other people. I was taking a lot of notes. I was spending most of my time learning German uh, all through January and February. And slowly I was also incorporating immersion through watching YouTube videos from which I understood a minimum amount of. Of course, Anki became a valuable tool for vocabulary retention. I started mining sentences from the content that I was watching and reading. And I guess I, I really liked creating my own template for my flashcards and I like the, I know it doesn't work for everybody, but I really like that spaced repetition system that kind of takes care of reviews and the time between reviews for you. Well, looking back on 2023, Anki is something that I have used to study in a very inconsistent way. 
at least way more inconsistently than I see other people on YouTube use Anki. But I still would say that Anki is the thing that has helped me make the most progress. I know I'm messing up the algorithm by not reviewing every single day, but I don't know, life gets in the way and it works as, a, as my own personal dictionary that I can browse through and there are ways to catch up on your reviews if for some reason you stop doing them for months like I did. I'm not really worried about messing up with the algorithm because I am someone who sometimes obsesses over their hobbies and I don't want that to happen with German. I started learning German for really healthy reasons, I think. I don't want to make it something that has to be the most efficient all the time. I want this journey from being a complete beginner to considering myself an advanced speaker of German to take as much time as I needed to take while I, I take care of all of the other aspects of life that demand my attention. And with that being said, I think my progress when it comes to comprehension is evident and I think Anki has played a vital role in that. Lately I've been reading Matilda in German using Lut, another incredible tool that I've been using in the last few months and that I've that I'll definitely be using in 2024. And I am surprised at just how much I understand from that book. I know it's a children's book and that, well, I'm using this tool as a kind of clutch, crutch. I don't know if I would be able to understand as much or if the reading experience would be as easy if I was reading it physically, but I'm still surprised at how much my comprehension has improved. Listening is still a little bit harder for me, but in the last few weeks, most of my, my immersion time and, my, and the time I spend mining sentences for Anki, I have been doing it with YouTube, with different YouTube videos that interest me and that have German subtitles. And I've also been surprised at how much I understand. Of course, there's constantly sentences where I just, there are too many words that I don't know, or I know most of the words, but I still can't make out the meaning. I'm kind of basing my strategies for learning German on the way I learned English when I was a child and a teenager. My mother tongue is Spanish and when I started learning English as a child, I did so through immersion. Even though I didn't know what I was doing, I just liked to watch Dolby Games, a YouTuber who, who played video games and who I found funny even without understanding what he was saying. But I just kept watching and watching YouTube and then I combined that with classes which I had in school and I took private classes too and it took years to reach the point where I am now but I feel like that's exactly what I'm doing with German but I'm also streamlining the process a little bit more and setting goals for myself however abstract and general they might be and well I think the last thing to reflect on when it comes to 2023 was the birth of this YouTube channel. I think making these videos, regardless of how many people watch them, has motivated me even more to learn German. It has been great to... I know this sounds cliche, but it really is cool to see other people commenting on what you say in a video and also sharing their experiences and something really cool happened last year where the creator of Loot contacted me and that video reached a lot of people who joined the Discord server and who make 
questions and suggest ideas and loot has been growing exponentially i think since that video came out and more people started to find out about it and those are the kind of experiences that make me say well even if i don't want to make this something extremely serious there's still a lot of value in creating these videos and i'm really happy about that I guess all of that kind of leads me to reflect on, yeah, the role that learning German has had in my life and that it will probably continue to have in my life. It began as something to distract myself and now it's a personal challenge and it's a way to connect with other people and something that I want to keep doing to see how far I can get. Which leads me to my plans for 2024 because I want to keep German as a hobby that doesn't lead to stress like other things in my life do. My plans are really relaxed rather than things I want to get done in different quarters of the year or months. My general goal for 2024 when it comes to my German is to enhance my comprehension further. That's probably my main goal. I want to keep mining sentences, I want to keep feeding this process where I surprise myself by understanding more and more of the content I use for immersion because the experience has been incredibly rewarding and because I think that comprehension inevitably leads to better writing and speaking when the time comes. In relation to that, I want to incorporate more native German media into my learning process. I spent a lot of time watching anime with German subtitles, which didn't include listening practice, and lately I've been watching YouTube videos made by German creators and the experience of adding the audio to the reading that I'm doing when I mine sentences has added a lot to the experience, I think. I also want to start thinking about my transition to speaking and writing, which I know will mean some challenges. I would like to start by doing writing exercises, maybe shadowing and practicing speaking by myself. The thing is, right now when I try to do that, I stumble a lot and I quickly come across words that I don't know when I'm trying to express myself, even when trying to say something really simple, even if I would be able to understand those ideas if I read them or heard them. But anyway, I consider using apps like Tandem to start at least chatting with some German natives. And my long-term goal definitely is to go on VR chat, which I have seen a lot of people do on YouTube. And I think it's really fun if you find the right people. I would love to jump into a German room and find someone who is willing to listen to some broken German for a bit and give me advice and just start talking to people. Even if my output doesn't progress that much this year, I would like my comprehension to be double what it is today. I would like to understand most of a German video or movie, even if it is with subtitles by the end of the year, without having to look things up. Just like feel that confidence to immerse in the language and know that occasionally I'm going to miss some things that are said, but know that that happens to me in English. Too. And when it comes to my YouTube channel, I have been enjoying the possibilities of connecting with other people and sharing something that I really enjoy doing and that is really exciting to me. And that's the way I'm going to go about uploading videos. There is one more thing. I really have been thinking about adding another language to the mix. I have a few options, the main one being Japanese, mostly because I find the challenge of a different alphabet, a culture that's so different from mine, exciting. I would really like to learn the language for that reason, and I just simply like how it sounds, I like how it looks, and I follow a lot of people 
here on YouTube who learn Japanese, and that also inspires me to learn the language. Then again, there are other languages like Italian and Greek, which I have considered because I and my boyfriend respectively will be citizens of Italy and of Greece respectively. And well, there's that added bonus or motivation for learning the language when it's something that could potentially be really useful to me in the future. The thing is, both of those languages are cool, but they don't interest me as much as Japanese does. The most important thing over all of this discussion is when is the best time to start learning another language. Well, of course, that would take time away from learning German and I have been enjoying the process of learning German so much that I don't know if I want to slow down now but still it is something that I will consider again in a few months maybe in the middle of the year of course if I do decide to learn a another language I also find exciting the idea that I can take all of the things that I've discovered about myself and about the ways in which I like and don't like to learn that I have acquired from my experience with German, I would take all of that to learning a new language. And in that way, it could be a little less painful at the beginning. Because of course, now I find some kind of comfort when I study German because I have the base of the language, but starting from scratch, with a new language can be a little daunting, but yeah, we'll see about that. And to give some kind of closure to this video, despite inevitable changes in motivation throughout my year and inconsistencies when it comes to studying and immersing, I have found great pleasure and satisfaction in learning German. And I am really grateful to myself that I started learning the language. It's something that has become really personal and a kind of refuge from everything else. And it definitely has become more than a hobby, even if I stress that that's the only way in which I want to look at it. It's something that has changed my life. It has made me interested in something in a way that I hadn't been the years before. And I know it's something that will remain in my life in the coming years. So if you've reached this point and you're still listening, thank you for watching my videos and for commenting. I really like to know your experiences or whatever you want to talk about that's language learning related I'm interested in. And yeah, thank you for being friendly and I hope that you don't get dengue fever, first of all. And, and second of all, that you have fun learning languages this 2024 and that you have a nice year in general regardless of how much progress you make or how productive you are so with all that being said goodbye and i'll see you in the next video tschüss